Hey guys, Eric here from worshipbanduniversity.com and today we're going to take a look at why we have this overview bar selected in our view. Now just to refresh your memory, to add this in here, we need to go to view, scroll on down, and click on overview. If this check mark is not highlighted, please click on it right now so you can do this. We're then going to go back here. Now what I can basically do is with this here, as we can see this little center line, what I can do is if I click to the right of that line, I can fast forward in my cues and my loop. Now the further I go to the right, the more the jump is going to happen in the song. Now I'm going to hit play and you can see that One, it's going to scroll two, through intro, two, three, four. as we follow the line going across. But let's say I want to jump a few measures ahead. Again, I'm going to go to the right of that line and click it. And we're just going to jump a tiny bit. First, two, three, four. And the more I go to the right, the more it's going to jump. Again, if you watch this line, if I go way to the right, it's going to make a big jump. I can do the same thing by going to the left of the line, but I can rewind it. So if I want to rewind it just a little bit, I click a little bit to the left of the line. Or if I'm going to jump way back, I'm going to go way back here Three, four. and bring it on back. But during practice, it really is One, two, we went right back to the beginning. Intro, two, three, four. So let's say we get halfway through the song and we just want to do half of it again. If I hit play again, One, it brings two, you right back to the beginning. Intro, two. So that can be really frustrating when you're trying to work on one part. So again, this overview thing is really fantastic, but not a lot of people know about it. So you got a little bit of a secret weapon for your practices. So have some fun, and we'll see you guys next time.